point of today was just to tell language, history, storytelling, social dance from our perspective, most importantly, always from the China Rapho perspective, but also getting everyone to understand that we're two different tribes. What does that look like? So it was important we had language here. We did both languages. Um, and then just telling them the importance and the difference of that. These are two very different tribes. We exist as one, but let's teach them about both. Men walking is one person. Pivots to wound is two. Some of them are very familiar with the traditions and the culture, but we have a lot that aren't. So for them to be here and get to experience everything is cool. It's even cool for me as a teacher to see it and experience it as well. It was pretty fun. I like our culture and stuff. And my favorite part is uh, the game, how you try to throw it and stuff. And you try to get in that little, you're trying to get the buffalo, and that's the only thing you're trying to get. It's not easy, huh? And yeah, it's not easy at all. I think that this is a great age group for them to get engaged and involved. I think that they're still, like you said, not too cool to get excited about learning new things and um, just to be exposed to different cultures, even if they're similar to their tribes or a little different. I just think it's a really great opportunity and they seem very excited.